She was eight weeks old when she came to us. We had gone to the emergency room and they kept telling me that she's not viable. Seven vets actually told me to put her down. They gave her intravenous fluids. They took x-rays. We found out like her bones are not connected. Her She has megacolon. Um, she has one lung that works properly. I was feeding her, bottle feeding her every hour, hour and a half to get enough milk into her. So nobody really gave us much hope that she would live longer than a month. And every time I went into the vet, they, they were like, wow, she's still around. So it was, it was very interesting that nobody believed that she could live. She came to us, she was around four ounces. And today we just got her weight. She was two and a half pounds. At home, I think the other animals know that she has limited abilities and they actually take care of her in a, in a way. But if something is wrong with Noe, one of the dogs will come and tell me, like, Noe needs to come and get her. But she's not in pain. A lot of people always ask me if she's in pain, and Millie is not in pain. We make sure of that. And she gets lots of massages on a daily basis and lots of attention. You know, we are lucky to have her in our house. That's the most important part, the love that she gets. She licks like a dog does. She will lick you when she's really happy and she shows affection. You can tell she appreciates it. She does go to work with me. Um, after the last sickness, we decided that it was best if she came to work. She comes in her basket, I bring her food, and she has different baskets, and she sits at different people's desks. So, um, she's, we just treat her as another person. You know, she, she has her own badge. <laughs> she comes to work every day. So if we've gone through a lot in four years, but you know, the, the love that we get back from her is a lot.